Hello, how's everyone today? I hope you're doing well. If you're not in Georgia, I hope you're rejoicing with us Atlantans in Georgia about the elections and I hope you're all doing well wherever you are. We're still waiting for the results of the election and we just have to be patient and wait for the process to just be the process and they should just count what they need to count and announce the winner. But anyway, as promised, I'm doing this video today about how to market your online business. And I'm sorry about the glare of my glasses, but my eyes have been tired from wearing contacts. I do much better with glasses, but I know that some of the ring lights really reflects, re reflects in, in the glasses. But anyway, my name is Dr. Iyabo. I'm a business and lifestyle coach to women. I'm a board certified pediatrician and a physician entrepreneur. I'm a lifestyle blogger, motivational speaker. I'm on the board of Flow Health and I'm a mom and a mom to four kids, two daughters and two stepsons, and I'm a wife to my honey. So I'm on here today because I had promised that I was going to do a video about how to get clients how to leverage your online business, how to grow and scale it, but most importantly, how to start getting clients to sign up for your online business. Because yes, the online space is growing. We know that the way we do business is not gonna be the same again because of the pandemic. There's gonna be more people doing virtual businesses. There's gonna be more work in the online space. 2021 is just going to be different so there's different skills that are going to be needed probably the same skills as before but even more exaggerated your public speaking skills your storytelling skills skills communication skills you know being able to be vulnerable and being able to be empathetic being able to be a good communicator and being flexible also those and versatile those are skills that are really going to be needed in the online space and obviously understanding social media and technology and all of that so there's going to be more businesses operating virtually so this is why i keep calling out to women that when changes are happening you have to reset and recalibrate so you don't get left behind and the reason i'm doing this video is because of a common question that i get asked from my clients who are, i'm coaching now who are all women and some women who just send me dms asking that okay we i have this brilliant idea i have this business that i want to launch online but how am i going to get clients are people really going to buy from me and the answer is yes but it takes a process okay the first thing you need to do of course is hire me as your business and lifestyle coach and i'll help you sort through everything but i'm going to give you a few tips today on how after setting up your business you can get clients okay you can start to generate leads it's quite a simple process, but sometimes we get terrified, we get scared, we overthink, and then we freeze and we can't do anything. But the first thing is, like I've said on many of my videos and even in the reels on Instagram that I've posted recently, the first thing is your mission statement. Why do you even want to set up this business? Why? What do you want to do in the world with the business? What problem do you want to solve? Like my mission statement is my mission and hope is to help women live a fulfilling, purpose-driven, and financially free life. So my mission is for every woman who is in my radar, who signs up for my coaching, or who loves my posts, my hope and dream for them is that they live a fulfilling life, which means a happy and peaceful life. They know what their purpose is, and the life they're living is, living is driven by their purpose. And it also makes them financially independent and financially free. So that's my mission statement. So the first thing you have to do is to figure out your mission statement. Because if you don't know what your mission is in life, then you're not even going to know why you want to set up this business or what you want to do with it. And your mission can be indirectly related to the business you're setting up. So let's say you want to start selling shoes online or bags online. You can say that my mission is to sell high quality leather shoes to women to help them live a more confident life something like that not exactly but you have to have a mission with what you're doing so the first thing is you set up your mission 
the second you and you're able to articulate it well when somebody asks you because the worst thing is somebody says okay what's your mission what do you want to do with this business and you're like um maybe i want to help i want to try you master your mission so that even if you have to change the words around in the sentence you still get it out neatly and purposefully so figure out what your mission statement is the second is you have to build a powerful brand personal brand that is very important i know the word brand branding gets thrown around but basically for your online business to thrive and to grow and to scale you have to build a powerful credible personal brand and there's not enough time in this video to share it with you and that's why i'm there as your business and lifestyle coach but after you have your mission statement then the word the work begins to create your powerful credible personal brand an excellent personal brand and that takes that's a process you have to build your brand you have to build your community you your community has to be attracted to your purpose they have to be attracted to your post to your mission to the value you're giving out to them every day you don't have you don't need to hold back on value because nobody even if they read your posts every day they will still need your services but that's how you're going to build a community build trust trust and build attraction to your platform you have to have and i'm not saying you have to have a perfectly curated instagram that takes a lot of work i do admire people who do it but i just don't have the time to do it i tried it one time but i gave up where you have picture then graphic then picture then graphic and everything looks excellent as long as your brand is powerful and credible and excellent then you're building a powerful brand and your brand is just an experience that people feel when they come to your page so basically that brand is that special unique expression of yourself and the feeling you give people and the experience you make them experience when they come to your platform basically that's what it is and they have such a wonderful experience from your brand that they want to keep coming back for more so that's it your brand is just a unique special expression of who you are and you help people that visit your platforms experience your brand and have a wonderful feeling so they can keep returning for more of your purpose of your content of your words of your expertise so you have to set up that brand first so again i'm telling this is all marketing so once you have your idea let's say you want to start selling shoes or you want to start selling bags or clothes or you want to create an ebook or you want to create some really good online courses or you want to become a coach what any kind of coach business coach leadership coach weight loss coach personal branding coach so you know there's many coaches whatever it is you want to coach about or whatever product you either have a product or a service if you have a product let's say you already have a pie shop or a bake shop or a shoe shop bag shop and you want to all cosmetics or makeup there's so much that you can do in the online space so once you figure out what your pro mission and statement is the product you want to sell or the service you want to sell then you have to take time to build that brand that personal unique expression of yourself of yourself in totality so that when people visit your platform they see an expression of an authentic expression of who you are so they can come back to keep experiencing more that is it if you don't make people feel that authentic vulnerable expression of who you are when they visit your page they are going to there's millions of people on instagram they're going to keep going to the next page and you don't have to have thousands of followers or millions of followers you can have your own unique community of a thousand followers 500 followers 5000 followers you don't need a big massive community to to have impact you just need to build a community that loves who you are and eventually will want to buy from you so i hope you're following me the way you're going to market your business is create your mission statement know it well articulate it well then you have to start the process of building a credible authentic excellent powerful personal brand 
and the next thing the next step is you have to build trust in the community that follows you so all those people on your in your radar you have to build their trust and the way you do that is by posting valuable content every day and by engaging and communicating with your community so if somebody leaves a post and says oh wonderful post beautiful dress you look so nice you have to reply and say thank you you don't just like the, the comment that is wrong you can start doing the head when you've grown big and you don't have to re you can't reply to everybody's comments but when you're still growing if you're still having less than 50 or 100 comments engage with your community this is how you're going to grow and get more credible and people will flock to your page my glasses are really reflecting and i keep looking the other way instead of looking at the camera but anyway as long as you can hear my words so engagement is very important i try my best to reply to every comment especially if it's a compliment i just feel it's borderline rude if somebody wishes you happy birthday and you just like it find the time to say thank you if somebody says god bless you say amen god bless you too don't just like it it's very robotic i think to just like and move on you have to find the time to engage with your community you have if they send you a dm reply them even if you're not interested in what they're trying to sell you just say thank you very much i'm not interested wish you all the best you have to have the time to engage with your community because they want to feel continue to feel that expression of who you are so all what i'm saying now is marketing it is true it, we're not talking about i have not mentioned anything about spending money on instagram ads or facebook ads or any big ads you are working on your personal brand the trust building the trust of the community of the people who come to your page every day and you are taking the time to engage with your community i haven't even talked about any big degrees i didn't say you have to be a doctor or a lawyer or mba or have the certification master certification you can have the biggest certification in everything if you don't build a powerful brand and if you don't put out good content and if you don't engage with your community People, not, people are not going to buy from you. They are not going to trust you enough to value what you're putting out there. So, but there's many in-between steps to all this, but this is how you market your product or your service. You can go and ask other every other coach or other people who have successful high ticket sales in the, in the online community. The way that you market yourself is you have a clear mission statement. Why are you doing what you're doing? Who is it for? And then you have to build a powerful personal brand. You have to be, find the time. And there's many, many layers to building that brand. And I can help you because I've done that for myself and it has brought me lots of business opportunities. You have to do that. Part of that is being authentic. Part of that is mastering your public speaking. You cannot have a successful online business if you don't master public speaking. You don't have to be an expert. I hope the word master isn't making you feel fearful, but mastering meaning you have to talk without hindrance. You have to feel free when you're talking. You have to be yourself when you're speaking. So you have to be a good storyteller and you have to have a high level of self-confidence because if you don't trust the products or the service you're putting out to people, how do you expect them to buy it from you? So you have to have a high level of confidence. You have to master your public speaking, which is your storytelling abilities, and you have to be authentic and vulnerable. Okay, so this is part of your personal brand and personal branding there's a lot more that goes into it so there you go i haven't talked about you can spend 500 5000 1 million dollars on facebook ads if the people don't trust you and if they don't love the content you put out and if they haven't developed a relationship with you by you engaging and communicating and responding to their comments and their questions they're not going to buy from you you can have all the titles and all the certifications you can have doctor phd mba you can have the best certificates in the world from wherever coaching school you've gone to but if you don't build that really good personal brand 
you are not going to be able to sell high ticket sales and high ticket sales are the way to go like i keep saying over and over there's no point selling courses or coaching for 1500 200 500 dollars because if you sell it too cheap people are not going to be committed to doing the work they are not and you also it limits your value you have to build your, up your value know what you're offering offer high value coaching high value services so that people can buy your high ticket sales and you don't have to look for 500 clients you have 20 to 50 clients and you're fine and you're also building up people and giving them value so i hope this helped I have, you can spend all the money on Instagram ads and Facebook ads. They work. I'm not saying they don't work, so don't message me. I'm saying I'm putting them down. They do work, but what works even better is you having a clear mission statement, having a presence on social media, which means you build, you take time to build a solid, excellent, credible, personal brand. You take the time to engage with your community and to build their trust and put out purposeful, useful, valuable content every day. You speak a lot. You come out to do speaking. You either do Instagram lives or Facebook lives or you do videos or you post on YouTube. People want to feel who you are. They want to connect with you. Life is all about connection. If you're a good communicator, you will survive in the online business, okay? Because people want to communicate, they want to connect with you. And then you can sell your coaching services at high price. You can sell your online course at high price. And then as soon as you start to make your first, second, third sale, and people love what you're doing and you start to get testimonials, then testimonials are like more valuable than any Facebook ad or Instagram ad. So you want to first make a few sales by being, having a mission statement, having a powerful, credible brand, engaging with your community, being trustworthy, offering value for your clients. And then those first few clients you have, they will give you fantastic testimonials. And then the testimonials, you post them, and then people see that you're offering value, then you keep on building. These things take time and there's many more moving parts to it, but I definitely wanted to do this video because a lot of you are always asking, oh yes, I have, so you guys have the idea, but you're wondering that who's going to buy your idea? Do you have to spend tons of money on Instagram ads, Facebook ads? But it's simpler than that, okay? It's those steps I just told you. So there you go. There are many moving parts to it. There are several women I'm already helping launch their digital products digital services and helping them all through with it but again you have to buy my personal coaching my personal coaching is four hundred dollars per hour or you just buy my high value package the live well now package which is my financial freedom online course and four sessions of one-on-one -on -one coaching with me so if you're interested in this, just go to my website, www.dryabo.com. Or if you're watching part of this on Instagram, just go to the link in my bio and click the link in my bio and either sign up for the Live Well Now package or for my one-on-one -on -one coaching. My prices do go up in less than two months. On January 2nd, all my prices go up. So you want to sign up now and start leveraging this online space to launch your business and start making high six figures and seven figures. Honestly, it is possible. So for me, my mission is to coach high achieving women